global goals global goal association is a association created to unite all the global goals under one common platform it's not a political it's not a profit making it's not a religious association of goals by the goals and for the goals it has been registered under the registration of society act 1860 our vision to collaborate all the goal associations and communities across the globe to build this strong global network to be the voice for goals and goals globally our aim is to nurture preserve is strengthen goal roots taking our culture language tradition to the world foster love hope understanding and care within the goal community why and how global goal association thought came in process and it became a reality today in this hall covid 19 is something that changed the face of the world the economic crisis the family disassociation so many issues happened and at that time the thought came in my mind when covid happened our analysis basically those who are having, having foreign passports they are having oci card and the government of india ban entry of oci card holders and basically goons who are having oci card holders are mostly those who are having portuguese passports and most of them everybody knows they are in uk most of them and i was in touch with all these people because at the same time there were many goons stranded in qatar and the government of uh, india offered a flight to bring them to back to india but uh, we were not fortunate to get to that flight on time and i had to go and arrange a special first flight from qatar flight from qatar to goa and i really thank our honorable chief minister dr pramod sawan was instrumental giving him permission instantly and thank you so very much that was a great thing and what a, what a great relief those people who are stranded they came back at that time and that time the thought came in my mind why oci i card holders okay some people they may to want to but our goals who are in uk basically besides goa they don't know uk or portugal for them it's only goa their motherland their parents are here their siblings are here their houses are here and i have been visiting uk a couple of times so this thought came in my mind and i said i will discuss with some people in uk and see what we should do 2021 most of the countries lifted the ban traveling so i went on holiday with my family to uk i met one gentleman who is in the borough council is a councillor go i shared with him the idea the discussion came and i said why not we try to demand with the government of india with the support of goa government dual nationality he said of course the many people are looking for that i made some couple of individual meetings to see how the tempo is and how really people want it so everybody wants it i met prominent leaders in different locations like wembley south hall uh, swindon uh, all these places 
And I said, okay, I came back to Qatar because I'm based in Qatar. And I was talking to a couple of lawyers, politicians, and they said, it's possible, but whom should I talk to? The only man behind, expert of this constitutional knowledge, he is only one and only who shuffles from Aldan and to Maradon is none other than our Honorable and Ali Advocate Carlos Alvarez Ferreira. And I came only for 10 days. So I said, sir, I want to meet you. He said, okay, this day we will meet. Okay, I said. Then I told him, sir, send me your location. He said, Simon, if you are busy, we'll talk on the phone. Sir, today evening I'm going and I want to meet you only five minutes. He immediately sent me the location. I went to Aldana. He immediately, Simon came, he took me inside. I said, sir, this is the issue Goons are facing. We need to do something, we need to demand dual nationality. He said, Simon, let's do it, it's a need of an hour. I will do the, I will do all the documentation of paperwork. If required, the bill will be drafted. You go ahead. Sir, my 80% job is done. Now I will travel all over the world. He said, go ahead. I took the flight, came back to Qatar. Then I went to UK. I had a couple of meetings. I met a couple of priests. Everybody supported me. They asked me, who is behind you? And the man behind me is none other than a gentleman sitting on the dais, Advocate Carlos Alvarez Ferreira. So everybody, father in uh, South Hall gave me church hall. He said, have meeting here. The response I got it and I understood the amount of people are suffering just because they have passport and uh, OCI makes it difficult. And if dual citizenship happens, there is nothing wrong in asking. Someone has to initiate somewhere. I don't see it will be overnight given. But someone has to make the initiative to ask, demand. The government is ours. Rule on the people, by the people, and for the people. And I'm sure we have a dynamic chief minister who can take this forward. And I request on my days, for your information, this is a non-political organization, non-profit making. We have invited all the political parties and all the sections of community to attend this event. And sitting on the dais, our NRI commissioner, very enthusiastic, our dynamic young visionary chief minister, and the legal expert, our advocate Carlos Alvarez Federer. I put before you today this request. Help us. We are here with great difficulties, hoping. The association is made on hopes and expectations and we are sure it will be done. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Dream, dream, dream. Dreams transform in thoughts and thoughts results in actions. French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte said, nothing is impossible. Impossible is a word to be found in the dictionary of fools. Great ambition is a passion of grace, great character. Mother Teresa said, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has yet to come. We have only today. Let's begin. Let's begin, sir. I will conclude with my quote of mission. Needs going to me. Yet for Potak Lagon, Portesan Kale Ami, Portesan Kurits of Auto Sodans, World Old Army, Portesi Zale Ami. Poor, 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 poor,